only a block away from East and West Tower dormitories is the Howard University Fine Arts Annex. Though it is a place filled with potential and talent, it may not necessarily look that way. We haven't had maintenance on the grounds in over a month. Uh, trash hasn't been taken out and cleaned. Um, there was something wrong with the sewage in the men's restroom to where there was, there was a, a, an odor that, that smelled of sewage that was coming out of the drains and attracting a lot of flies. And I know one day I was in there, I killed like 12 flies. Housing sculpture, painting, welding, and more, it's a stomping ground for the more hands-on artists, but the students are feeling frustrated. It's a lot of frustration, definitely, because you, you get a sense that the university doesn't care or that, that the department doesn't care because you are severely limited into your studies with, with resources and with the way the building is and with the way uh, faculty are stretched for the classes that you just you feel lost. Associate Professor and Coordinator David Smedley says that the students here are angry. The phone is yet another example of something that just does not work in this building. According to Smedley, last semester the phone lines were disconnected without explanation and with no landline phones or Wi-Fi. Communication is difficult. The Fine Arts Annex is a place where students feel free to express themselves and they hope that won't change anytime soon. When I first discovered the studio, it was like, it's probably where I found my love at Howard. I feel like without this studio, I would not be at Howard. Recently, a public hearing notice was placed on the door of the Fine Arts Annex, but what does this mean for the property? Howard University officials were not available for immediate comment. Reporting for Howard University News Service, I'm Shanique Rochester.